In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Intel's Advanced Management Technology, or AMT, using an IBM ThinkPad X61 tablet. First thing I'm going to do is power on. Now, when the uh, initial splash screen appears, I'm going to go ahead and plus, press the blue uh, Think Vantage button. That'll bring up this initial menu. I'm going to press F1 to go into BIOS. Uh, press Enter on Config. And I'm going to um, scroll down, or arrow down, to where it says Intel AMT. And you want to make sure that's enabled. In my case, it is. If not, go ahead and enable it. And um, I press Escape and come back to this menu and go for um, you'll come back to, you'll restart and you're going to come to where you can see the Intel uh, get the option to go into Intel's enhanced BIOS when you go ahead and see that uh, prompt to go ahead and press control P to go into the uh, Intel management engine uh, BIOS extension go ahead and do that quickly um, here I am in the initial uh, main menu uh, where it says uh, Intel ME configuration. Um, first thing you want to do is enter in your password. And let me go ahead and enter mine in. The default uh, username is admin, lowercase, and the password is uh, password, I believe, uh, lowercase. But once you put that in, you'll be required to change it. Okay. You want to go in the first option, Intel ME Configuration. Not much to do here except um, uh, uh, confirm yes that your changes will restart the system once you exit. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, uh, the, uh, the one option, ME State Control, the first one, is set to be enabled. Next arrow down to where it says Intel AMT configuration and notice my BIOS extension 2518000 uh, if your version differs uh, the menuing is going to be slightly different Intel AMT configuration um, it's loading uh, first option is uh, arrow away so you can see it host name Go ahead and hit enter. I went ahead and I've entered in a host name already in my case. Um, and go ahead and hit enter. Um, go down to TCP IP. You want to go ahead and set that up. Um, you get to choose whether you want to use a static IP or DHCP. I have chosen to use DHCP because it's flexible. That said, I have it hard-coded to always be the same DHCP IP address based on the MAC address for my, um, my particular ThinkPad. In this case, the ThinkPad I'm using is through a, a gigabit Ethernet connection. You can see here uh, the, the wire coming out the back of the um, docking station. Um, in newer versions of the BIOS or BIOS extension starting with 3.0 I believe they now support wireless which would be fantastic but my older ThinkPad does not support that so for me I'm using a wired connection um, if you answer no to that question you're using DHCP if you answer yes you'll be given prompts for the uh, static IP the net mask the uh, default gateway in my case that's not necessary because I'm using DHCP so I will go ahead and say no to disable DHCP uh, the domain name prompt you don't have to have anything there I don't just hit enter and go past that um, next go down to S-O-L-I-D-E-R go ahead and answer yes that your changes will restart the system make sure that username and password is enabled Uh, that's it at this point in terms of configuring the IBM ThinkPad. I'm going to go ahead and escape and uh, 
and the prompt there, yes, I'm sure I want to exit. I'm going to go ahead and power off this baby. Um, I think I, I hit the power off button in time. Yes, yes. It's powering off now. And now I'm going to go to my other laptop and you'll see the magic occur. Okay, here's my other uh, laptop. It is uh, definitely not an IBM ThinkPad X61. I have the Chrome browser up, but any browser will work. I'm going to go ahead and type in the address of my uh, of my uh, uh, Intel AMT configuration. I have the address typed in there. Uh, HTTP colon slash slash 10.0.1.27. That's the address I'm using. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a colon because you got to use a particular port and that port number is 16992. Um, if I use 16993, that'll be HTTPS. I don't think my particular BIOS supports that one, so I'm using HTTP. Go ahead and hit enter. And voila! I get the initial splash screen for the Interactive Management Technology. Uh, AMT. Active Management Technology. I think I said advanced earlier. I misspoke. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Click on login. While you don't get prompted for a username on the uh, on the side of the ThinkPad, there is one you got to know it, and it's simply admin. And then the password is the one that you would have assigned yourself when you did your initial configuration. I'm going to pause while I enter mine in. There, it's all entered in. And uh, log in. And here's the system status. Notice that it says power is off. You see the IP address. The wireless IP, well, it's, it's not active at this time. Um, even while the system's powered off, there's some cool stuff I can get from the hardware side. I can get the computer model number, manufacturer, the version, serial number, which is important if you want to go to Lenovo's website and uh, look up the latest drivers. It's uh, very direct to just know what your serial number is. Um, uh, BIOS information is there. It's usually important to know what your version is and release date. Um, I clicked on processor. And now I can see it's Core Duo 2, or Core 2 Duo. That's the requirement for using AMT. Is you got to have an Intel Core 2 Duo, or a, a later generation of that. Uh, a lot of the Intel processors out there do not support uh, active management technology. Um, I can, uh, from here, I can look at the memory dims. You can see I have three gigabytes, so one gig and two gig stick. Um, you can see that I have a Fujitsu uh, 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 drive in there, about 114 gigabytes. And a San Sanyo uh, lithium-ion battery. So cool stuff. I can look at the event log. Uh, if there's any errors in there, I'll be able to see them, like a failed memory dim or disk errors being uh, generated. Remote control. Now, this is where I wish I had a newer BIOS because the, the newer uh, active management technology BIOS extend, extensions allow would allow me to actually pull up the BIOS. I could actually, it's, I have a remote console. I could look at the BIOS settings and, and modify them directly. And in the case of my more antiquated uh, ThinkPad here, I have just the bare bones basics, which is I can power on. And so I'm going to go ahead and power on and send a command. I will be prompted to confirm. And 
I'm going to go ahead and click yes and then you'll see what happens on my ThinkPad. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and we'll go from there. Do you see the lights changing now? And my system's booting up. I got three basic options when it comes to power on my particular ThinkPad and that's power on, power off, and power reset. Um, there is another menu option elsewhere of something I can do. I'll show you in a moment. I can make changes to the network settings for the uh, AMT console. Um, if I so choose, I can also on my wireless settings, I can go ahead and uh, uh, On the wireless side, I can go ahead and enable the uh, antenna. It's just one other thing I'm able to do. Uh, but beyond that, um, my particular version is very rudimentary. I don't have actual uh, console access, which would be using serial over uh, local area network uh, protocol. But this is far more than I'm able to do with any other laptop I currently have. Um, so um, I'm not complaining, I'm actually quite grateful. And back to my ThinkPad, you can see that it's now booted up. I can go ahead and power it off, uh, but there's nothing graceful about uh, the uh, power off. It's, the, it's, it's instantaneous, and uh, so you don't want to lose data, protect, potentially corrupt the file system. Um, you don't want to do that hard power off unless uh, the situation calls for, and that's not very common um, nowadays.